Okay, I can't really spend too much time on this, but as you know, our um, chicken coop is not the best of. This black plastic is here to keep the rain when it rains a lot from just getting the inside wet because it's an A-frame. So I came out to uh, actually I left them out and feed them like I normally do. Um, it's later in the afternoon, and uh, so after work I typically and I came out to see here completely destroyed uh, broken and all of this now keep in mind a few nights ago our neighbor uh, they had a um, uh, raccoon attack their chickens and eat their eggs kill a few of their chickens and uh, so yeah this here is a paw print of the raccoon so I'm thinking it's a raccoon that did it. Uh, they did uh, quite a bit of damage, but they were not able to get inside. So um, they also scratched around at the bot down here on the ground. They just literally destroyed a lot of stuff. So uh, the good thing is, is we locked them up at night. Uh, none of the chickens were killed, thankfully, and none of the eggs were taken. Uh, they were not able to get in, but they did create a lot of damage. This is the side we never really locked. Now I'm going to have to start locking it uh, because this is the side where, where we get the eggs out of. Down here, um, this wire, raccoons cannot really get through it. Uh, it's just a little too tough. It's um, pretty strong uh, tensile wire. So they can't, a raccoon or a possum, which we also have possums that live in this area, and we've seen them outside here. They can't get into this either, uh, or nor can a dog. Uh, a wolf, probably, but regular dogs just cannot break through that. You can see right here where the wire is a little bent. You see those two little U's? It tried to scratch in there, just can't break through it. Also, the wire is, um, no, you know, this probably happened in the middle of the night more than likely or really early in the morning so nobody would have everyone would have been asleep raccoons are very nocturnal so uh, nobody would have heard it but the uh, wire extends underground so I basically buried all of this wire all the way around it uh, because of predators so uh, having chickens before I knew to do that but yeah, the run is completely uh, destroyed. So it's also destroyed on the other side as well. But yeah, they uh, they were not successful, but more than likely they will be back uh, probably tonight. Uh, so yeah, but anyhow, have to get off here. I know this is gonna be a short um, uh, stream, but I uh, have to get back. I uh, just wanted to show you guys what happened. Uh, the coop itself is fine. There's some roof damage, um, but that's basically it. And some of that was kind of starting to wear a little bit because we go in and out of that quite often. Um, they were not able to get into it. We locked this side, but unfortunately I went in to clean it out and I had pulled the lever over, but I didn't actually lock it. So the lever was on top of the lock and <laughs> it was it was crazy. But um, luckily they were not able to get it. That uh, roof is pretty heavy. Uh, so it would not, um, they were not able to lift that. Same with this side, it's pretty heavy. Yeah, there is motion sensors, but that doesn't really do much to a raccoon. Raccoons are very uh, vicious. Uh, they are not afraid of much of anything. Even if you had a dog and you had dog food out, a raccoon will walk right up and get it. I mean, they're very, very strong, vicious uh, animals. They look cute, but they're very strong and vicious. Um, but yeah, it looks almost like a, a dog or a person fell in here. Yeah, raccoons are pretty rough. And, you know, we had our, our motion lights were on uh, a lot last night, but we thought maybe it was just a cat that walked by because cats do come through here. We have a lot of stray cats. Stray cats won't bother chickens. They're afraid of them. Um, but raccoons, nope. They will come after them, even possums. Uh, possums will more likely go after the eggs. Uh, and smaller chickens, they don't really mess with big hens like this too much. Uh, but yeah, we've seen them actually run across the roof line or the uh, fence line 
uh, possums before and literally our next door neighbor right over there right where I'm aiming is where another chicken house is that's the house that was actually attacked and chickens were killed so anyhow yeah we dodged a bullet this time and I'm kind of proud of myself that the uh, <laughs> the poor craftsmanship that I did here actually survived the attack hopefully uh, they're good to go uh, it's got fence all around it. I made sure of that when I built it uh, to really spend a lot of money on this high tensile uh, fencing here. It's construction cloth, basically. So anyhow, that's pretty much it. I'm going to turn this around so you guys can actually see me. I actually have to go, folks. So I uh, hope you guys are having a great start to your week, a great Monday. Uh, and I will talk to you guys later. Until next time, I will see you. Take care.